okay so in this video we are going to start creating the component for playlist we will do something very similar to YouTube where we will have an add button clicking on that should open up kind of a model pop-up or you know pop over where I will see a list of my playlist which I have already created and have the ability to create a new playlist as well so let's get started um, the first thing that I'm gonna do is to create a model and a migration for playlist okay and let's call it playlist so php artisan make model dash migrate m migration as well okay so in php storm we have our model and inside database we have our migration okay so let's quickly see what all things do we need in the migration and the model so my model is pretty straightforward I don't need to do anything right now okay guarded is empty and in here the migration I will have a string column name okay a user ID column and I'll keep a boolean is private for the user to choose okay so yeah these three fields default I have kept as zero which means every playlist any user creates becomes a public playlist until and unless the user explicitly says that you know yeah I want to make a private um, playlist okay so this is done we'll need two routes let's come over here and let's say I'll need one route which is user slash playlists okay let's let us say we'll have a playlist controller and we will use the index function and <clears throat> we'll have a post which is playlist um, controller at the red store so this is where we are going to save it so obviously we don't have the controller yet let's quickly make that php artisan make controller and we have this ready so let's see what all things do we need obviously we need two methods one is index it's a get url one is store here i will call the request all right first one not much to think about just say playlist where user underscore id will be what auth that's strange what happened why it's not picking up okay my indexing is going on user ID and I'll order sorry uh, order by name ascending let's get all of them and okay let me pause it for some time you know this <laughs> thing has actually okay I can't pause it I can right yeah so okay this will not work so I think it was what mm, use oh man nothing is gonna work uh, so this is illuminate uh, support sards and then auth I think that's the one 
will it go there i don't know okay nothing is working right now when the indexes are being built and somehow it worked okay so i think yeah this is correct i do still remember yeah there's habits just you know go away with these kind of ids where you know you are very much relying on the autocomplete okay so i'll just rather what you know what i'll just send the playlist okay all right so what we are saying is we are going to get all the playlists where user id is the current logged in user we are going to order it by name and send it back okay so we will get a json response pretty simple thing um you know these simple queries i don't mind writing them in the controller i don't feel you know such uh things need to go in some model or anything because i don't think we need to repeat this logic as well you know this is going to be on the only place where you know i'm going to make this query okay so once we have the um you know listing in place i think we will also need to handle the store um okay by the way i am building entire thing um, the entire api first and then i'm going to you know get started with the front end that's typically what i do and then later on you know if we need to change anything we will do that otherwise i think we can pretty much nail it down here okay so i'll need to validate our request we will have name which is a required parameter we will need the is private key which is also required okay once we have that we can say something like dollar playlist equals playlist create name is going to be request input name okay um user id request user id and is private now what we are going to do is simply send the input i think we should be able to handle that through a check box um so i'll just copy this okay and once that is done i can say return response json um playlist 201 why don't we also do this same uh, response json playlist 200 okay so you know things are kind of same we are following a standard way of dealing with things so i think our the api is ready if we need anything then we will you kind know, of come back and we will make those provisions but for now that's about it in the next video we are going to touch upon you know the view part of the playlist component and get started thanks for watching guys if you like this video and this series you know do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel